shower because I'm having a severe case of the winter uglies. I've been kind of sick for the past few days but not sick enough to like actually take a sick day so it's kind of a more like annoying sick where like you feel fine enough to like function and do stuff but you just don't feel 100% so I have like a cough, stuffy nose but I've had a lot of stuff that I need to be getting done so, so we have a babysitter here today which is always nice. We also have our contractor from Dwellify here to finish up our little like remodel project. He's gonna come back one day next week because there's a couple like little teeny things to do but I'm so excited to show you guys what everything looks like now that it's basically like all the way done we worked with dwellify to finish our basement i think probably like two years ago we had the best experience we love our basement we go down there and play all the time so as soon as i knew that i wanted to make some changes on our main floor i reached out to dwellify their process is just like super easy stress-free so i knew that it would be a good experience working with them again so they help with every step of the way from like the initial design to the completion of everything and it was nice because i didn't have to go in the first time we had like some meetings at their design center i think which was nice and fun to get to go like see everything but now their process is even more streamlined where I was able to just literally do everything online and it was super easy So I will take you guys around and show you everything that we have finished It's not like a huge project. This one is definitely much smaller than the basement But I've been wanting to make these changes forever and Dolify just is the best company to do it because they literally took care of every single thing They also did give me a code. I'll have their website linked down below for you guys But my code is aspen99 so that will get you guys $200 off of their design services Which brings the total down to 99. They have a lot of stuff on their website to kind of give you guys ideas of like what your project could look like and you can get a free project estimate in less than five minutes so yeah i'm going to show you guys my bathroom first he actually just finished it i still need to like put a bunch of our kind of styling stuff back we swapped these out we had black before and then these are new countertops too so our other ones were like stark white and they were not of super nice material these sinks i had from the house that we were building that we ended up selling that never got installed so i wanted to use these in our bathroom now and I love them. We also switched the faucet to gold and then we also have this cute tile accent to wall now. I thought about tiling up the whole way but it was going to be really expensive so I'd well if I suggested just doing like an accent wall which I thought was super cute so it's nice they have like their designers to give you different ideas for everything too. And then we got new mirrors before we just had like the one long one that went all the way across so Parker's mirror we're still waiting on. You guys know the infamous unframed print that I said I would frame one day and I never did. I think it's time to replace it. I bought this. It's probably meant to go like in the kitchen but it's just been downstairs in my basement in the storage room because I haven't had anywhere to place it. So I'm trying to decide. I was thinking maybe it was going to be too big, but I feel like actually that would be really cute. Parker just left. I was going to have him hang it up. This is literally, not only is it not framed, it's literally just taped to the wall. This is sad. It's like the end of an era. RIP. Okay, so maybe this print is not too big. I just want to use what I already have and not buy something new. So Parker will hang this up when he gets back. Okay, it's a little bit messy in here. We're also waiting these lights. They're going to come and replace them next week. For the kitchen, we also swapped out the hardware. So those used to be black and then we had handles like all over. So they took our cabinet faces off, patched and like filled the holes and everything. And then we have knobs on the top now just to kind of switch it up. So that's super cute. I also need to put all of our like styling stuff back on here, but we've just kept it clean so that they could kind of like do their work. But we have knobs all along up here. This backsplash is kind of new-ish, but I love it. I'll link this exact tile down below for you guys but it used to stop right here and they did it all the way up to the top we also did consider changing the range hood obviously it's not that cute but the only style of range hood that i ever really like is when it's like boxy and white and every inspo picture that i saw of a range hood that i liked was a boxy white one and that has like open shelving or something different in the kitchen next to it so we ended up leaving that because i didn't want to do open shelving we already this kitchen it's not small but it's like not huge i didn't want to do like open shelving or anything even though it's so cute but just for like practicality reasons we just kept the cabinets and everything make sure you guys half bath this was like the biggest project that we did the biggest change this bathroom used to be so not cute we basically just had like a pedestal sink in here and that was it and then that round mirror that i just showed you guys in my bathroom was also in here and we had different flooring too and i actually really do not like our bathroom tile but to replace it in like the rest of the bathrooms is super expensive but since this bathroom is a lot smaller we replaced it with this cute hexagon tile. I want to get a cute little like basket or something. A print for right here. There's still a lot of work to be done to style everything, but that was black before. We switched it out and then we have this vanity, which I love. We have the cute sink, the mirror. We got a new light. Okay, it's kind of dark up in here, but this bathroom looks so cute. We just got this new rug and the new shower curtain.
in from Anthropology. I also got new bath towels. This rod is actually new. We didn't have this before. So that will be really nice to have somewhere to actually hang the towels. And then I just got a couple little like styling things at Target. The mirror got hung up. And then we actually ended up having enough of this tile to do this entire wall, like enough extra from the kitchen. So I'm so happy with how this looks. I think it's so cute. It's just like simple and still pretty neutral. In here, I had a little thing hanging on the wall and I'm waiting on my new print to come. So I'll show you guys when I get that. So we are opening packages now, some of the home stuff that's here. Look, it's a pillow! It's a cute ball pillow. Okay, next we have some flowers. Then we have this one. All the flowers and greenery are going to be fake right now. We're not in an era that we can remember to watch. A little seashell candle. It's a vase. move the camera because all the packages are over here and we have a lot of big ones. These cute new cups. Mm -hmm. unboxed and styled and it looks so cute. I wanted to kind of just like freshen up our space for spring. I have literally no interior design talent at all. So I've been working with a designer. I used a lot of stuff that I already have, but then I also got some new stuff as you guys saw. There was a lot of boxes. And it's not all the way done yet. I still am waiting on a couple of things and I'm gonna do the girls' rooms in our room next. So I'll show you guys once I have that done. She actually sent me the design board and it looks really cute. So I need to just go through and like pick everything out. So I will show you guys really quick, but this is the kitchen. I didn't really change too much in here. I'm gonna add something over there. Got this new toaster, which I really like. Usually I don't like to have like appliance stuff out on the counter, but I feel like this is really cute. So then I also freshened up this little shelf. I wanted to get rid of all of like the pampas grass stuff. I didn't want it to be too boho. I forgot if I showed these, but these are the kitchen lights that we're going to be swapping in. So they're a lot bigger than these ones that we have now. I got this fun little like lemon thing to go on the table, which I love. And then I changed up a couple things on this shelf. We actually have this like empty for a while because the girls like to climb on it. And now we have a rule implemented again that we do not climb on the back of this. That's super cute. I'm actually missing an item that's supposed to go over here, but it looks really cute. We kept a lot of the same stuff. We actually use this speaker literally every single day. I'll have to link it for you guys because it's really cute. I got a new lamp for right here, but it's not quite big enough. So I put it in the guest room. So I think I'm just going to swap out this lampshade. But then on this table, we have, I need to still arrange that. We just kind of added in some new stuff here. I got a new lamp. I think the old one that I had here, I'm going to put up in one of the girls' rooms. So we just freshened up that space and then we also switched up some things for here, which I like I like how it's just like simple up there I have a little colorful like match thing coming. We'll have a little bit of color up there Also the girls have been playing with these cardboard boxes for probably a week or two then moving on to the coffee table I wanted to keep it really simple because we do a lot of like crafts and coloring and stuff here So I needed basically stuff that was like kid friendly So these are just some coasters a little tray and then these fake flowers Like I said all the greenery is fake because I am not in an era of being able to have real plants right now One day I will I still need to get a pillow to go in here. I actually ordered it today. The girls have been loving this ball pillow, which is super fun. And then I just got this blanket from Amazon. I'm obsessed. It's so huge. It's so big and nice. Just some small little changes to kind of freshen it up and add some pops of color and like pastels for spring. So I think it looks really cute. And I'll show you guys when my room is done so you guys can see the updates that we do in there. <laughs> Did my hair, I filmed a TikTok, I'm doing my makeup. This is what I'm wearing, super basic, just jeans that don't fit me anymore. And this white tank, so I have jean shorts for the girls. I went out and got this stuff yesterday. I got two options for Cove. I liked these ones, but they only had a size three and she's four. So I got those with flowers on them. I think she likes those ones better. And these ones look a little big anyways, but they match the rest of our denim better. Those are size four. And then I got them both white tank tops to match me. So Lola's already dressed. I don't have hers, but I was thinking if I didn't like the white tank tops, I have these cute little like flower tank tops. What baby? 
Then I'm bringing a couple different outfits for myself. I've already shot a couple pregnancy pictures in this outfit. I just had Parker take them like at home when I was holding some flowers. But I don't know if I'll really post these ones because the girls are gonna be in them. So I don't care if I'm wearing the same outfit. But I have like an inspo pick that is white outfit. I didn't have white shorts, but I have, well, these are white, but they have little like hearts on them. So I have a sweater. Can I help you? Hey, what's on your face? Go tell daddy to wipe your face. This is just a long sleeve black tight dress. So, and I also have Dad, this lip box. Here. So I'm gonna pack up this bag. My friend Bria is taking the pictures. We're just going to her studio. She usually is the one who takes our family pictures. She knows that we kind of just get what we can get with little kids. As long as we get just like one or two of everybody smiling, or at least just like being candid and cute and not crying, then I will be happy. So even if the girls last five minutes and then I change and we shoot a couple pictures of me in a different outfit, I feel like that's probably what will happen. Whew. Okay, I think that we are ready to go. Well, the family pictures went about how I thought it would. Girls did not really want to cooperate, so I actually haven't looked through all of them yet. Usually I have Bria take them, and then I take the memory card and like put the ones that I want on my computer. So I kind of skimmed through them a little bit. I know we have some. We'll see how those turn out, but I'm really making my favorite snack, aka apple juice with pebble ice. I craved pebble ice so much in my last pregnancy. We're actually having some hello fresh today. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. We started getting boxes a few weeks ago because I wanted to not have to plan all of like our groceries and our meals and stuff when we have a new baby at home. I feel like we're pretty much ready at this point. I have my to-do list before baby. We got everything sanitized, pumps. I just got the mom cozy pump, which I'm really excited about. So we got like that sanitized. We got the bassinet brought up. We got all of her laundry done. Ugh, I was gonna show you guys her dresser, but I don't want to go up the stairs. I got all of her stuff organized though. So let's see, I'm going to check stuff off. Bring up bassinet, rock or swing. Wash the clothes and the sheets. I do have diaper changing, my little diaper changing basket. I want to have one in our room and then I want to have one in the living room. So obviously in there, I just have like diapers, wipe, usually a binky, burp cloth. So I have that set up in my room, but I need to get another little one for like when we need it out here. I also rewatched the taking care of babies uh, sleep training course. I actually didn't watch the whole thing, but on the course, I have like PDFs that basically summarize certain things that are talked about so i looked over those because i already remember a lot of the stuff from last time and the time before we used that with both of the girls um family pics check that off the list organized dresser did that decorate the house did that i also read over my breastfeeding notes we did the lactation link class when i was pregnant with cove and it was super helpful so i kind of just like skimmed through all of that stuff to make sure that i remember everything did you fix the blinds one of our blinds in our room has been broken so parker needs to fix that i also got a present for the girl from the baby and then I have just some work stuff to wrap up so I feel like we are pretty much ready but we'll see is it done or not yet we got some potato wedges I actually got what does that say just the instapot does it have a different name it's the instapot duo crisp yeah air fryer plus instapot yeah Parker just made these in there okay here we go look at you I think we're gonna end the vlog here for today so I hope you guys enjoyed watching again I'll have Spotify linked down below if you guys want to check them out see you guys in the next vlog bye